Please welcome the lovely Mary Steenburgen, everybody. Mary Say, Mary, please calm down, everyone. I, 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 may I say just how beautiful you look tonight? You're so wow. elegant and sophisticated. And look, your tiny, thin belt. That's how you know you got a classy broad Thank in your hands. Thank you there. so much. <laughs> You're making this very easy for me because right before I left home, I said to my husband, I have no idea what to talk to Craig about. And he said, oh, just go flirt with him. That's what I always do. You so. know, it's, it's true. I was actually going to talk to you about that. When your husband, Ted Danson. Yeah. yeah. When, when Ted's here. Yes. And, and, and I, I'll be honest with you, Ted is dreamy. And when yes. he is here, he does give me the old. I know. Yeah, yeah. A little, there's, you know, a little, he's a little gay, but. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Luckily, You're luckily, welcome, bloggers. Yeah. <laughs> luckily, not so much that, you know, it, it gets in, in the way of our marriage right, in any okay. way, shape, or form. And, um, by the way, yes. here's, be ready for my flirting. Yes. Craig Ferguson, I would like to hike the Appalachian Trail with hey you. Hey, no. Hey, no. <laughs> All right, Mary, no. Have you ever... Have you ever... I know where that came from, and it's another Mary, and I wish I'd thought of it and brought you some, like, weird thing from Arkansas. <laughs> you don't have any weird things in Arkansas, Mary? What are you talking about? Your rattlesnake mug from Mary... Mary McCormick. Yes. Yeah. I, I know. Some I of the guests thought. bring presents, Mary. You I know. know I'm just really. saying. <laughs> Not all of them, of course. Just, just the ones with money. Just... You know. <laughs> I just brought me and my flirty ways. No, my that's, and that's more, uh, your and, thin belt yeah. and your flirty ways are more and than actually, enough. And actually, my sock marks, which I've been frantically trying to rub out from my... Oh, no, that's sexy. Well, you know, I had these, like, giant woolly socks on until a few minutes ago, and then I looked down, and I've been doing this backstage. But anyway. Don't take a shot of the woman's leg. <laughs> what was wrong with you? <laughs> Have that footage sent to my office. <laughs> Think that we, do you mean you just changed that you weren't walking around like this? No, I wasn't. Oh. This is just for you. All oh, right, that, that, thank you. you. Now listen, yeah. Mary. I want to congratulate you on this film because it's like the number one blockbuster movie of all yes, time or something, it isn't it? Is. It's uh, like it, it, more than Titanic, more than it's I a lot. I think so. It's huge, and um, you ha you should congratulate actually. Um, Sandra Bullock I and did. Brian she, Reynolds. Here, I did. Oh, yeah, she's yeah, yeah. They've fantastic. both been here. They're both dreamy in their They're own way. They're both amazing and funny and wonderful. And but it's Betty White that shouldn't be allowed. Oh. You should never work with this woman. She's here every damn week. I know. <laughs> Betty's here every damn week. I can't get rid of her. No. She's a nightmare. She steals every scene she's in. Yep. She's like you know perky all day. Yep. You can't complain about the hours you work because she's you know a little older than me and she's not complaining. No. She's like. But but but. Yeah. I've heard that. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you're right. Oh, yeah. No, yeah. I've, I've seen it. It gets ugly. Yeah, those, yeah, blue, yeah. those blue, baby blue eyes get a little kind of bloodshot. I, late saw, in the her, day. I saw her put down a Teamster. No way. Yeah. <laughs> put down a Teamster. Really? Yeah, he was like, oh, Betty, where'd you? And she was like, yeah. boom. <laughs> it's Miss White to you, bitch, she said. <laughs> I'd love to see, but I feel that Betty could do that, actually, if she wanted. She's a, a woman of remarkable powers. Right? I told her that I thought Harvard should do a study on just her, you know, so, yeah. so that we could just all figure out what the deal is and what the secret is, because she's, she, she's magical. I she mean, it's really person, absolutely yeah. ridiculous. She's, hey, I, uh, can I ask you a question, personal question? Please do. All right. Um... Are you, are you having Larry David to your house in Martha's Vineyard again this year? Oh, my God. Because the last time you were here, you said Larry David came Could for Could not a, get rid of he him. He stayed for, like, the whole summer? Twice. Twice he's done that? Well, the first summer was supposed to be me consoling him and helping get him through his divorce. Right. I don't know what the second summer really was about. Maybe the divorce was lingering. You <laughs> Maybe. Know. Maybe lingering. Um, and this year, we just had to put our foot down and say, you no, Larry David. Right. But but he was very, you know, he's so, 
You're having him on your show tomorrow night. Uh, yeah. You are. <laughs> it's funny, I feel like he's been here already. But I yeah, know. he's on the show it's tomorrow, tomorrow night. night. It's tomorrow night, yeah. And uh, I think you and I should make a little list of things that you need to discuss with him. All right, then. I can't okay. promise that I have discussed or will discuss the, whatever you want with Larry. I what do you want now? Well, first uh. of all, how can someone so wealthy be so cheap? That's the theme Cheapness. of the whole thing. <laughs> all right. Cheapness. Cheapness. Right. Okay. And, to you know, in terms of house guests, you have oh, to start... Oh, man, you ever sniff these babies? Love no, sorry, all right. <laughs> okay. Um, so, stop it. Stop it for a moment. Back to Lair. All right, yeah, yeah. Okay. So, I think we need to discuss that when we go on his show, Curb Your Enthusiasm, which right. we do for a pittance. You and Ted, yeah, yes. yeah. Yes. Right. In fact, I was just paid more to come on this show than I am paid to do Curb Your Enthusiasm. <laughs> you get paid for that? <laughs> what are you talking about? I... I, I thought, I thought it was, this was part of my community service. I didn't know you had to get paid. Okay, no, wait, cheapness. So cheapness. Uh, so does, that's, that's part of cheapness, isn't okay, it? Okay, yes, he but pay. we need to discuss. So he doesn't pay us to be on this show. Right. Have to change my clothes in the back of my own car. <laughs> Is that anything to do with Larry, or do you just like doing that? <laughs> It's everything to do with Larry. Back in car. car. I have to bring my own clothes, no wardrobe. So everything oh. you see me wear on the show does belong to me. Right. Um, own clothes in back of car. Yeah. Okay. Um, um, flirting with Ted. Is that for you or for me? It's just on my mind. Okay. All right. <laughs> um, what else? What else? Larry. Uh, no, he really is writing these things. Yeah, yeah, no, I'm writing them down. Um, I might lose this before tomorrow night. I don't think you will. I, oh, no, trust me, I will. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm a time travel expert. I've made two time travel movies. Have you? Have you made yeah. time travel movies? Yeah, twice. Uh, time after time. Oh, yeah. So long ago, most of your audience wasn't born yet. No. And, uh, oh, you, you, no, you got me confused with somebody else. Oh, really? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, no, everybody, everybody is uh, watching this show. You know, we've all been around the block about, haven't we, everybody? <laughs> yeah. And um, technically, Back to the Future three. Well, yeah, take Back that's, to the that's Future three. That's a time, time travel, travel, travel movie. Yes. So twice, yeah. Yeah. Do you feel qualified? And why are we talking about time? Oh, because Larry's not here. Yeah. Until, whatever. Yeah. No. Fine. All right. <laughs> well, I'll I'll uh, put this list aside and make sure that I get to it tomorrow because uh, you know, blah, blah. I want one of these pens, they're awesome. Okay. All right. I'm just saying. Now, uh, what else is going on with you then? So you're going to uh, Martha's Vineyard for the summer. Because you always do that, right? I am, minus Larry. I mean, he's got his own house now. I did lay down the law. Well, he's he's going to afford it. Yeah. Uh, and uh, what do you do there? Do you go sailing? We sail a little bit. We kayak and canoe, and we're, there'll be 13 people in our house because our kids. That's and unlucky. That's yeah. unlucky. Oh, really? I should get one more. You want to come? Yes. <laughs> but, uh... You might bring... I, I, no, no, I, I know. Yeah, Megan, no, the yeah. lovely Megan. Yeah. I saw that gorgeous, gorgeous wedding photo of you and yeah. of she at the gate, and it was so beautiful in Yeah, Vermont. no, it was nice. Yeah, no, and that was in the snow, and I was wearing a kilt. I thought it... it <laughs> the mind boggles. I, not only the mind that boggles, Mary, I tell you. <laughs> We are out of time. Have a lovely summer and come back you and see have us. A lovely summer All right, too. I'll do my best. Me, Steen Virgin, everybody. Wait, 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 wait. Are you tearing up the questions you're supposed to ask me? Well, you know that's what I always I do. love it. I yeah, love it. No, okay. I, I, I've never even seen questions I'm supposed to ask you. Here's one thing. Does cigar smoke bother you? I'm, Not at I all. Shatner was here. and I think you should go for it. As a matter of fact, I think I should go for it. I think 
I either think this is a, a, a cigar cutter or a lady's pleasuring device. I'm not... <laughs> oh, no. You, do you have to bite the end off? or have you yeah. smoked, Do you smoke cigars? No, but, okay. but I'm... I don't no. know that we should do this. I'm I think gonna... we should give it a go. Okay. But you're not promoting it. You're it's very go late at night. Anybody that's watching it knows that they're not really supposed to smoke cigars or a cigarette. <laughs> So. Could you mention that to CBS at some point? Because <laughs> apparently I'm not allowed to cuss either. Because people really? that are up after midnight are like, oh, we don't like cussing. Oh, no. <laughs> we take our math, but we don't like cussing. <laughs> now, uh, I don't you know. actually don't know how to do this, do you? This is really sad. Have you said that to me before. <laughs> I'm worried that you're going <clears> to... <throat> I'm worried that you're going to go home with Ted and he's going to smell cigars. Well, he you... will. Yeah, and then he'll be like, what's going on? I know, and he will, and that'll be good. It'll add a little spice to the relationship. <laughs> I, I, I don't know. I, okay. <laughs> oh, here you go. You got it. Okay. Yeah, right. mm, don't right. make that noise, Mary. <laughs> hey, you know what? It's not for you. It's really an old one, I think. <laughs> Department. I think it's been there. Yeah, yeah, I think it's been there a while. Let, let me, let me it's take it. It's falling apart. No. <laughs> I'm no, gonna I, spend this whole interview picking little bits of that cigar out of my teeth. I, listen, I've been there. <laughs> <laughs> Are you all right? Do you want a mint or something? Sure. Do you have a mint? I don't have a mint. Um... <laughs> Yes, you oh, do. I've got, some, I've got some sugar cubes. You want some sugar cubes? No. no. Uh, uh, what's, do, uh, what do you have oh, to I've do to I've earn some those? chocolate dollars and I think a chocolate euro in there if you want one. Don't, is, there's some game about these that you No, not at all. No, they're just <clears throat> chocolate. <laughs> they really are. I, I, I use them to entice guests onto the show. Are they ancient like your cigars? Or oh, I, no, these are fresh chocolate no, dollars. Do you like, you like a chocolate dollar, do. do you? I do. Do you know that I have not been on this show for so long that Michael asked me if I was mad at you guys? And I'm Are not. You? No, but I've not been on here so long that I never met Secretariat and I never met you, Jeff. Hello. You're kidding me. Never. Oh, well, it's a pleasure to meet you. Fine. Very nice to meet you, too. Lovely. <laughs> <clears throat> wow, the horse bowed. I know. <laughs> He only ever does that for royalty. Really? Yeah. And is it true that he has the voice of my friend Morgan Freeman, my co-star? Yes, he business? does. If you listen very closely, you can hear his thoughts in the voice of Morgan Freeman. For example. Somebody get me out of this damn barn. <laughs> <laughs> that is actually, that's, yeah, know, that's amazing. Very good. So listen, tell me this, did you have a good time working on this film in Las Vegas? Because you're a degenerate gambler, aren't you? I am. Are you really? No. Okay. Uh, but, um, no, I'm a really cheap girl from Arkansas who... Um, I love those. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you, I've met... I've met in my life maybe three or four cheap girls from Arkansas. And a good time Beautiful every time, woman. right? Beautiful yeah. <laughs> Um, yeah, so I had a good time because it, there was Morgan Freeman, mm -hmm. a doppelganger of Secretariat, and, um... Robert De Niro, he's... Robert De Niro, no slouch. No slouch, yeah, he's, uh, he's very funny, isn't he, when he's not acting? <laughs> <laughs> he actually is, I love him. Yeah, I no, him. I've, I have a huge admiration, but I've never met him. He's never been on your show? <gasps> no. <laughs> Am I the only Oscar win No, Morgan's been on here. Yeah, yeah, at yeah. Least We've had other Oscar winners. We, 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 we had, we, oh, we've had a bunch. Okay. Yeah, usually people come on right after the Oscar. Oh, do they? Mm, they win the Oscar, they come on here because they think, let's get the career slide in now <laughs> so the bounce back can come so much quicker. That sounds what, like what a good What did you win idea. the Oscar for again? Well, um, a million years ago, I won for a movie, movie called Melvin and Howard, but right. it was um, a long time ago. Right. Well, you like, still got the Oscar, though. You get to keep it. I, I, nobody ever came and took it away. It is a little... <laughs> it's a little sadly tarnished. It's about time I got serious about winning another one, I think. Well, so. you know, I don't know. Don't go rush. <laughs> okay. This is interesting. Such... Such is that... You can have some more of this if you want. Okay. You know, it's a little... I don't know what... Oh, the I'm... cigars are the stale, the <laughs> chocolate dolls aren't good. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. What's going on?
<laughs> so uh, you don't gamble then, huh? I gamble till I'm up about eighty dollars, and then I consider that a major victory and that is. walk away. Yeah, I, mean, I don't gamble at all. I have addictions, but that's not one of my addictions. Well, tell me what addictions you do have. I'm addicted to playing the accordion. <laughs> Speaking of someone who's wrestled with the, the illness of addiction for twenty plus years, I think accordion addiction doesn't quite qualify. Really? <laughs> I'm addicted to um, to iPad games like. Um, no, that can happen. Yes. Yeah, for sure. I'm addicted to solitaire, and I played incredibly quickly because I've played so many hours on flights that my children say, "Don't let anybody see you doing that. It's embarrassing." To yeah, it's you. kind of yeah. Do you, have you played? Have you tried the Angry Birds? Yes, I. I I was good at that, but I wasn't amazing. I'm amazing at solitaire. Like, yeah, like solitaire speed. doesn't really count. No, I'm telling game, you, it's though. speed solitaire. Speed solitaire. Yes, yes. I've... Have you ever played it in Reno? I think you know what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean I play like my record is 43 seconds to play an entire are you, game. Are you yeah, kidding me? that's good, right? Th that's uh, that's a problem. It's a problem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and uh, that's. A good I mean, I have... What about Minecraft? Questions. you ever play Minecraft? Uh, no, I, what is that? Minecraft is it's kind of like, uh, it's like a video game, but it's also like Legos. It's weird. The, the guy who oh, created sort it of was like here Tetris. last night. That's like Tetris. No, it's not like Tetris. It's a little more... No, it's, it, Tetris is old school. That's Tetris is oh. like... Oh, get with it, Mary, for heaven's sake. Well, I was referencing my past. I'm yeah, I played now. Tetris a lot. Did you ever play, did you ever play Pong? Yes. <laughs> It's pong. pretty good, actually. I know. Yeah. I know. Pong with a little bit of a bong. A pong and a bong. Oh. Man. <laughs> Man, good times. <laughs> yeah. Well, we have to take a break. All right. We have to take a break. Would you like us to get you a fresh cigar while we're... No, I think uh, that, that one's kind of curious. I think I'm next... done as well. Yeah. I think I, I'm, I'll maybe smoke another one closer to Thanksgiving, but that's it. Yeah. I, I think he was enjoying that a lot more than you were. I think, you know, I think William Shatner is a remarkable human being, though, don't Tell you think? Tell me about Unbelievable. it. Unbelievable. You know Bill's like 81 or I wasn't going to say, but we were backstage going, how old is he? And, yeah, I mean, he looks like he's like 50 or no, something. No, it's kind of frightening. I know. He's in, I think it, he was on a planet, one of the planets he visited. Yes, had some exactly. Kind of thing. Exactly. I think, wait a minute, I think my ex-husband is responsible for his death in Star Trek. Yes, I think that's right. Really? Yeah. My ex-husband was Malcolm McDowell, and I think he's the one that's that killed right. him. That's right, killed yeah. him in the... Yeah. Th yeah, that's right. Yeah, don't well, I can see me why hate you'd... mail. I... It's not my husband anymore. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I can see why you would divorce him as well, Absolutely. given that. Absolutely. Dreadful. And that Ted Danson's killed no one. <laughs> well, I don't know. He, he takes my heart away every time he's uh, here, Mary. <laughs> we'll be right back with Mary Steen Morgan. <laughs> smoked a cigar we've uh, we've talked of things heartbreaking and sad mm -hmm. and now it's time to say good night ah uh, yeah we're out of time really i think so not as a species you know but, <laughs> well maybe you know i don't know what do you think do you think the earth is coming to an end no okay no, good good no. good that's I reassuring hope. i have hope mm. every night i turn this show on and i think there's hope for the world <laughs> well it's a it's a it's a big burden that you carry on your shoulders. Well, I have to say, if this is the only hope the world has, <laughs> we're in deep... Tootsie Fruits! Yeah. <laughs> but I think there's other things. Are you a hopeful person? Do you? I am. Really? I am. Optimistic? Yeah, yeah I am. What I... about your husband? He strikes me as being a bit the other way, actually. No, he's, he's actually more hopeful than me. Of really? the two of us, I'm the more cynical Gosh, person. Gosh, it must be like Ozzy and Harriet round at no, your house. No, it's not. No, it's not. Yes. No, no we're like normal, you know, get along. Knock down, drag out fights. Get along a little more. Knock down, drag out fights. I can't imagine a fight between. Oh, you. it's fantastic. Really? Yes, yes, it's really good. I imagine he could be quite passive aggressive. Um, he just gets stunned because I'm so I get so verbal. I should have been a lawyer. So I like you know I've, I'm the one that kind of wins the verbal part. But then he's so sweet that yeah. I end up feeling like 
horrible. So and then he wins. So he wins. Yeah. He wins. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He wins. He's Ted Danson. Yeah, yeah. he's Ted Danson. What are you gonna yeah. do? Yeah. <laughs> Mary, it is always a pleasure oh to see you. Oh, my gosh, it's great to see you. I, I will try not to go another 10 years or whatever. Yeah, it, it can't be that long, is it? What is it? It was like? a long time. I've been hibernating. I do that periodically. Really? Yes, like I a bear? Do. A bit like a bear, yeah. I just, I don't know, I just fly under the radar, and then I resurface and remind everybody I'm alive, and then go back down there again. It's my agent's backstage slitting his wrist right now. Uh, well, as long as there's one less agent, our job here is done. <laughs> <laughs>